that we can create using that application integration not limiting but just given a few use cases here rest adapter use cases meaning you want it to expose your rest api meaning you have a database on prem you want it to fetch the data from your database and want it to give it to a third party application so maybe you will not expose your database directly to the third party application what you can do you can create a rest api who's going to connect to your database will get the relevant data and you will give that rest point url to your third party application they can call it the api will connect your database and will respond either in json xml the file whatever they want similarly if you have a third party rest apis you can also consume them with the help of rest adapter similar soap adapter is there you can expose your soap apis as well as you can consume ftp adapter is again a very popular adapter in case you wanted to process the files from your public ftp or sftp or private ftp or sftp you can read write download delete move file from one directory to another ftp adapter has various operations as i mentioned just like read file write file delete file download file and move file you can also connect to your local file server using that F file adapter but you have to leverage another component you which is connectivity agent you can subscribe event from your third party application like salesforce and we are going to execute one key use case around that sfdc adapter only and you can also subscribe events from your erp application using erp adapter which will help you to create the real time integration you can sync up your employee data from your sm application to various downstream application so i am not so these are the limited use cases which i have just mentioned here but whatever use cases you have around your integration application integration of course you can leverage that application integration platform okay now the another feature is process like i mentioned earlier to process is the way to create your business workflows so here you can see it's a small uh, snippet which i have taken wherein we have two uh, two roles one is the employee and manager employee initiates the request goes to a manager for approval manager takes an action it calls some api it sends a notification and completes your process it is a very simple process but you can create very complex process very complex business workflows whatever you have you can do it you can create multi level of workflows here you can send approval which can happen in parallel in sequence and here you can also create your business logic with the help of decision models decision model is one of the concept in process which will help you to create your business logic which are isolated from your process you create the decision in your process and call them in the process once it is created it can be called from outside as well as from the process itself it exposes the rest apis for you visual builder it's it's to build the saas application extensions it is used to build your web application it is used to build the dashboard right it can be connected to any application in the world with the help of service connection service connection is one of the features of visual builder which can connect to any application the only requirement is rest api once the rest api is available you can connect to those application you can connect to those rest api in in your visual builder and showcase the data in various format 
whether it's a tabular format, list format, graph format, chart format, whatever format you want, you can show your data. Or Visual Builder has its own inbuilt database as well, but it is limited to 5 GB. It's like you can create the data, you can you can maintain your data, and sometimes that embedded database will not help because it has a limitation. But Oracle Visual Builder gives you an option to connect to external database as well, like Oracle DBAS or Oracle ATP. So using that, you can create a web application, expose it as a, what we say, I'm not able to recall, but yes. So the application which you create, it can run on your, on your desktop, it can run on your mobile devices as well. So like I mentioned earlier too, Oracle integration has a very nice feature called file server, which gives you a 500 GB space, which you can leverage free and process your files there. So for example, you have a use case wherein you need to transfer the data to your banks. Banks will say, I don't, I don't either have API, I don't either have the FTP. I don't know. This is your responsibility to send the data so that I can consume and then process your data, maybe salaries. So that's your duty to bring that FTP because you cannot give APIs to them. They don't have capability to consume APIs, but they can open that file server. They can take the file, whatever you have written there. They will upload that data in their systems and then process the salaries. Correct. So that file server you can connect via that SFTP client like WinSCP or FileZilla as well as file server has its own REST APIs as well, which you can connect and then create the folders, process the files there. And this file server can be connected with your integration with the help of FTP adapter. Integration insight. Integration insight in Oracle integration dramatically simplifies the process of modeling and extracting meaningful business metrics, allowing business executive to understand, monitor, and react quickly to changing demands. Right? So whatever application integration you create, whatever process you create, you can connect all those with the help of integration insights to get the usable, useful metric for your business leaders so that they can take the actions to increase the business or if they see there's an issue in the business, they can take a quick action to solve them. B2B is another feature that is there, which can help us to, to send the EDI kind of files to your partners. Hey guys, I hope this clip really helped you. And if you really like it, then do give us a thumbs up. And, 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 and if you're really, really intrigued by the kind of words used, or maybe if this all is new to you, then we have something really, really special for you. We have our free class on Oracle Integration Cloud Services, and it's very easy. For that, you just have to log on to k21academy.com forward slash OIC02. So just let me give you a small demo, all right? So what you have to do is just go to your browser and type in k21academy.com forward slash OIC02. Click on book your free seat now. Select the event whenever you're available. Add your credentials, add your email address, your phone number, and click on proceed ahead. Every kind of detail will be shared out to you on your email address and phone numbers. After that, you'll be seeing this kind of link on extreme right. All you have to do is just save that link, add that link to your calendars, and you'll be able to learn what is cloud computing, different type of service models, Oracle Integration Cloud Services, what is OIC, what is its architecture, 
We'll be giving you a live demo and a walkthrough of Oracle Cloud and OIC Cloud instances. You'll be getting to know about different job opportunities. There'll be question and answers and, and, and a free gift for all the action takers. Till then, take care, keep hustling, and I'll see you in the next class.